Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 17. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, eat thy bread with quaking, and drink thy water with trembling and with carefulness. Now he's already been put on a ration diet. And say unto the people of the land, Judah, Israel, and he's in Babylon, but thus saith the Lord God of the inhabitants of Jerusalem and the land of Israel. Now, Ezekiel's in Babylon. Getting word back over to where Jeremiah is. They shall eat bread with carefulness. Again, that's Ezekiel's already got the ration diet by God. And drink their water with astonishment. It's not going to be that much. That her land may be desolate from all that's therein. The third and final conquest of Nebuchadnezzar. Because of the violence of all them that dwell therein. The sin, the wickedness, and the violence. The violence is what caused God to call upon Noah. There was violence in the earth. There's violence in your world today, and it's you gotta start getting careful. There's this wickedness. We are in the times that are worse than Judah. We are in the times that were worse than Lot. The comics that came up with Superman has now made Superman bisexual. The New York PD vehicles are decorated with signs of, of gay pride. Just shut up when it comes to God bless America. Just shut up. Because God ain't going to bless sin. No way. And we are to a point with Christians today, when you when you say the things I'm saying, the Christians will get upset. He judged not least he be judged. The cities that are inhabited shall lay waste. So where people are living, going to be wasted land. The army of Babylon, the Chaldeans. The land shall be desolate. And he shall know that I am the Lord, number 12. So ye shall know that I am the Lord by what? When Jeremiah writes the book of Lamentations. Alright. God said it. And it happened. They are buying their own water. Women are eating their children. That is a product of violence. That is a product of nature of sin. God warned us. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, what is the proverb? Now, a proverb is a short sentence often repeated, expressing a well-known truth or common fact. And also, in scripture, it sometimes signifies a moral sentence or maxim. That is enigmatical. So, we're running here. Here's a proverb. What is, the, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel? Saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Well, look at that. To the preaching of Ezekiel and the preaching of Jeremiah, the people's attitude is, it ain't going to happen. Jeremiah, what are you saying? Nothing's going to happen. Ezekiel, it ain't going to happen. We're going to live in prosperity. We're going to be in the land. Never mind what the preacher said. Do you know that that is the attitude of the, of the last days of the church? Oh, the Lord delay is it's coming. The Lord ain't going to come. They've been saying that for all kinds of years. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord God. I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them a counter to the proverb, the days are at hand. 
and the effect of every vision. It's coming. And we read the end of Jeremiah. We read the end of, of Chronic, Second Chronicles. We read Lamentations. It's coming. The people are wrong. God is right. People who, the majority of the people are always wrong. Let God be true and remain a liar. For there shall be no more any vain vision or flattering divination, divination within the house of Israel. That, that's their false prophets. That's their false priests. We see them do battle with Jeremiah. We see them do battle with Ezekiel. And Hananiah, you know, God, you know, God's going to bring everything back. And Jeremiah's like, yeah, amen, but not after 70 days. You got to wait, I mean, 70 years. As Jeremiah and Ezekiel are out there preaching, there are people out there preaching prosperity and peace. And the biblical centered man of God is preaching hell, destruction, judgment. And that's happened in 2021. It's amazing. For I am the Lord, the I am. I will speak. And we see count, we see endless time. And the word of the Lord came unto Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, thus saith the Lord. But they are not listening. So when people look at a public ministry or somebody who, who's centered on the Bible, and well, you don't have a, a large number of people. Well, that's biblical. Well, look at our church. We got a lot of people. Then, you, then there's something wrong with you. I remember I told my wife Tracy one time. I said, you know, I said the bigger the bigger the church, the more sinners they are and away from God. And we were in a big church. And she turned to me and, you know, I thought you said one time, the bigger the church, the more. And I, I didn't say nothing. But now when I look at that church, that we're, we're, yep, it still holds true. All the pews were filled. And you got theft going on. People were stealing things. You, you got theft. But they were stealing the, you know, they were going to go up and teach and they'll steal the outline. You got pride. You got the people who were in great dismay and great problems, and the pastor would be somewhere else. And then we are asked to leave the church because I didn't like the decorations of the VBS. Oh, and then yeah, later on, two weeks later, you know, I have a tight list of things, but that's no, 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 no. That's after the fact. Because I sat in your office. You didn't tell me any of those problems. I will speak in the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And what's that word? Is what he's been saying to Ezekiel. Is what he's been saying to uh, Jeremiah. And what he's been saying to Isaiah. And the people are saying, don't worry. And when I preach on the streets of Daytona Beach, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to happen. The guy's an idiot. He's a fool. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Just ignore them. And even to the cause of, let's say, I, I'm talking about what I know about myself, okay? And, but let's say I am preaching on a Saturday morning at Daytona Beach, the farmer's market. There. And let's say that moment the rapture happens and boom, everything drops and I go to glory my daughter. They still won't care. Matter of fact, they may applause. They may get my, my my amplification system. They may grab my, and they may start a little fire right there. And when they, ah, the preacher's gone. Hallelujah. 
But wait a minute, you just had a big event of God. And they wouldn't care. It's been news that last week that the Pope has now honored the fact is that in France, all oh, many of the priests have been molesting the altar boys. But wait a minute, that's not news. That's that's old news. Why hasn't that raised up the Catholics to say, you know what, we gotta leave the church? And you say, Stanley, what do you got to say about that? I say the priests that, that, that alternated with the altar boys have probably were moved to France and they were just caught again. Because all they do is they take the priests and they just move them somewhere else. People don't get upset with sin. They get upset with the man of God. And there are plenty, I know there are many people Fans of Superman. I, why isn't there a call? What do you mean you're making a bisexual? I, I, that's great. All right, good. You know, gay pride and all that. And then the preacher comes up and preaches again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're homophobic. But the fact is, even to preach about that in the nation called Canada, you can be and will be arrested for preaching against sodomy. Even though it is a Bible subject. What people don't realize, if God said it, it's going to happen. 48 prophecies of the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ all fulfilled 48, 100%. Don't you realize everything else is going to happen? Mary Baker Eddy failed on one prophecy. You put a telephone in my coffin, I'll call you. Maybe they should have put a cell phone in there. She hasn't called. The prophet, uh, uh, I can't think of his name now. Raymond Young and Joseph Smith. What did they prophesy? They couldn't even prophesy the fact that you were going to die in a prison at the hand of the, of the wives that you, that you adulterized with. What about the prophecy that Jehovah Witnesses, Jesus coming back, World War One, Jesus coming back, World War Two? we're going to build this house for the prophets of Abraham. Well, they didn't come, so we'll, we'll put our hierarchy in there. Yeah. But when God says it, it shall be no more prolonged in your days. O rebellious house, will I say the word, and I will perform it, saith the Lord God. And that verse doesn't just go with the destruction of Jerusalem. That, that goes also, and a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. And they, and that word goes to, and they, and I'm not quoting it completely, and they, what value shall they get? And they measured out 30 pieces of silver. And it shall be value to the word of God, to the fact the saying, smite the shepherd and the sheep. And there shall be a voice out of the wilderness saying, prepare ye to wait. Well, what about all those words of the Lord? What about the words of the Lord as they saw Jesus go up in the clouds and he said, as he goes up, so he shall return. How about the fact is that, that Paul preaches and teaches us about a rapture? How about all the words that are in the book of Revelation? They're going to happen. Well, they didn't happen right now. That's the problem. And that's why some Christians get upset because they have a prayer light. Well, God didn't answer it right now. Well, he answers, yes, no, not now. Look how many years God waited from the sin of, of Adam and Eve. Look how many years he waited before he sent Jesus Christ. That, I've always wondered that. I always wonder, at the moment that, Jesus, at, at the moment that Adam and Eve sinned, why wasn't Jesus born? Why in the Old Testament? I don't have the answers. 
Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, so my, it's my word, I'll perform it when I say. Okay, and the word of the Lord came unto me saying. You've got the point. When God says it, and I'm not talking about Allah. I'm not talking about the Pope. I'm not talking about all the, the realms of gods and goddesses. I'm talking about the Almighty God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Don't you dare get the, the, the Almighty God of, of Isaac, I mean, Isaac uh, of Ishmael. The, God, the Almighty God, all of Ishmael, he can't do nothing for you. The Almighty American God, a Mary Baker Eddy, of the Mormons, and Jehovah Witnesses, and the great government of the Republicans and Democrats, that great American God, bless him, he can't do nothing for you. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he sees is for many days to come. So Ezekiel's preaching to him. God says, Ezekiel, yeah, you know what they're saying to you? It's not going to happen in our time. It'll happen later. And he prophesied of times that are far off. And you get people today when you preach the gospel. I'll do it later. When I get old and had worn out my sowing my wild oats and everything and then I'll get saved and then the freight train hits you right in the rear end that could come to many conclusions besides death where you may not be able to get saved a stroke will enable you that you just lose your mind But the reaction to the preaching of Ezekiel, eh, later. That was uh, King, um, I forget his name, but, you know, the Babylonians came. The man was healed of the, of the, uh, of the um, boy, I can't think. Once it gets in my mouth, I forget. The boil. And the Babylonians come. God grant this guy 15 more years. And Isaiah tells him, say, hey, what were, you know, were these men? These are the men that, are going, that got the grocery list during Jeremiah and Ezekiel. Of all the things that's in Jerusalem, there's the grocery list that King Nebuchadnezzar, hey, make sure you get all this. And he says, all this is going to happen, your children and all the stuff are going to be going to Babylon. And the king's attitude, well, yeah, it was good because it's not going to happen during my time. That's a rotten attitude. I mean, the thing comes to in America that the opposite is not when famine and the next depression is going to happen is if. The question is when. And the Lord tarries says, oh, you know, my great-grandchildren, my great-great-grandchildren, they'll suffer, but I'm doing That's terrible. But that's what they're saying. They're not saying if it happens, it's when it will happen, and it's not going to happen in our time. And the thing is, are they really believing Ezekiel? That, uh, okay, yeah, you're right, Ezekiel, later. Are they kind of mocking Ezekiel and God? Like, yeah, okay, yeah, it'll happen, but later. <laughs> I got to go down to the market and get some figs for my wife. You know? And the hardest people are those that, it's not that they hate the preaching or they love to preach. The hard, who cares? I, I see people, I see new faces when I preach to, and they just... Going about normal everyday life. Oh, you got bananas, you got tomatoes. Oh, what's that you're selling? Okay, let's let's go to the beach or let's go 
What about that man? I don't care about him. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. Remember what he said in verse 25? And that's the thing with salvation. Do you believe the word of God? Faith cometh by hearing, hear by the word. There, there are people today in the Baptist church that people get saved without the word. They got saved through a movie. They got saved through some happy-go-lucky kind of flowery, lily kind of message. And then they get up and they trust in something. And it's, there's no word. There's no gospel. And, okay, we follow the Romans road. That's not the word of God because even Paul didn't use a Romans road. Paul wrote more than the Romans road. And there are more that could be added to the Romans road. I have. I mean, yes, I've used the Romans road, but I've had other scripture thrown in there and stayed on the highway. Do you believe what God said? That is essential for salvation. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. All right, as far as Jeremiah and Ezekiel at this point now, we didn't read in Jeremiah, but we're reading now. God says, I'm done. I've had it. You know how, you know how God respond, responds to Jeremiah at this time? You go back and read it. I'll tell you how, how in Jeremiah, I'll tell you what God said. Jeremiah, don't even pray for them. I won't listen. In response to that, my words will not be prolonged anymore. That's it. We're done. Parallel Jeremiah with Ezekiel. And there are Christians who think, well, I can get away with whatever I'm doing. God be happy. Go lucky. And there are unsaved people. I just keep on going the way I'm doing. Oh, well, there's no hell and whatever God I believe in. But the word which I have spoken shall be done. You know what the last word will be done for a lost man? Old or New Testament? That God said it will be done? At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and profess that Jesus is the Lord. They will profess. And then they go off in the lake of fire. And, and the main thing, when they say Jesus is the Lord, God said it. Paul wrote it. No matter for the fact is that God said there was a lake of fire. God said there's a hell and there are churches today. There is no hell. God said there's repentance. There are religions today. <coughs> there is no religion. There is no repentance. But the word which I have spoken shall be done. Now watch this. Say if the Lord God, I could close my word shall be done, and I close it with say if the Lord God. And the, the particular expression is well, the Bible says it, I believe it, that settles it. I don't care what you settle, it's what God says that settles it, whether you believe it or not. There are people who hold King James Bibles and they don't believe it. It's still going to happen. Still going to happen. Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. Why are people adding? Because you have no regard to what God said. Oh, some people say he's not even God. 